Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tumbling Dice. Uh, today we're going over Sid Barrett, being that the uh, 2022 reissue, mono reissue of Piper at the Gates of Dawn from Pink Floyd just came out, what, last month or the month before? Uh, Sid Barrett, he did, he wrote and he performed the vocals for Pink Floyd's first album. Piper at the Gates of Dawn, and one track on their second album, Saucer Full of Secrets, he did Jug Band Blues. Then after that, the, the, the folklore says he had a nervous breakdown or he went crazy. He went to a mental hospital and, or maybe he took too much LSD and he couldn't um, work anymore with Pink Floyd. He was just too undependable. So that's what Wish You Were Here is all about. Wish You, you meaning Sid Barrett. Dark Side of the Moon, a lot about that is probably about him. And he did two solo albums after he left Pink Floyd. First, there's The Madcap Laughs. And then secondly, Barrett. Barrett's my favorite of the two. Also, there's another album, Sid Barrett Oboe, which came out a few decades after the first two solo albums. And it's uh, like outtakes and uh, alternate rarities, you know, um, previously unreleased tracks like Word Song, which is very nice, Birdie Hop. <coughs> My favorite is, uh, <coughs> is Barrett, of course. The Madcap Laughs. Has Terrapin, No Good Trying. That's a nice song. Love You. It's it's a lot like Piper at the Gates of Dawn without the bells and whistles, without the sound effects. It's stripped down, him and his guitar. Of course, um, David Gilmore does electric guitar on Barrett. The album Barrett. No Man's Land, Dark Globe, Here I Go, Octopus is a good... These are all good songs on here. I suggest you get this album if you liked Piper at the Gates of Dawn at all. And uh, let's take a quick look. The folds out. And what do you see? Oh, that's trippy. Take a closer look at that if you can. Or freeze it in your uh, YouTube browser. That's very trippy. Do we get anything special with this? No, not that I can see. And it's from the Harvest label. Regular black vinyl. I got this from uh, Amazon, I think. I don't know, maybe it was eBay. <clears throat> but this is an excellent album. This is a lot better than Amagama or Adam Hart Mother. And then the second album, Barrett. This is a great, this is my favorite. And uh, David Gilmore did a lot on here. <coughs> All titles composed by Sid Barrett. And a few were produced by uh, David Gilmore, recording engineer Peter Brown. I wonder if that's the Beatles recording engineer. Richard Wright did organ, piano, harmonium. David Gilmore did bass. I thought Roger Waters did something with one of the solo albums from Sid Barrett. Yes, he did. He produced some tracks on uh, Madcap Laughs. So Barrett has Baby Lemonade, which is a great song. Love song Dominoes. I like Dominoes. It is obvious. Rats. Rats, rats, lay down flat. <laughs> this is, it's weird, and that's why it's so good. It's, it's, it's just like Piper at the Gates of Dawn or Jug Band Blues from, this, from Saucer Full of Secrets, but without this, the fancy sound effects, you know. Gigolo Aunt, that's a, that's a weird concept. What is, what is that about? Is it like Uncle Fucker? Waving my arms in the air, I never lied to you, wind and dine, wolf pack, effervescing elephant, that's with a nice tube on it. Check it out, folks. Pick this up. You know, you can, uh, 
the cheapest thing to do is either to get a used CD or of these three albums I recommend or else just uh, download the MP3 from Amazon or I guess people do Spotify or Apple Music and that's what I got to show you. Oh, let me take a look real quick. Let's take a look what's inside Barrett if there's anything there. That's the only one I haven't looked at on film yet. And uh, nothing inside the, there. And it's the same thing. It's just plain black vinyl, nothing fancy from Harvest Records. Is Opal from Harvest Records? Let's just take a quick look at that one. Yes, it is. Well, that's the video, folks. See you next time. See you next week, probably. Bye.